Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. Yo, what up, citizens of the Reject Nation? It is time to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Episode 6. I have forgotten to say this every video because I am an inconsiderate hubby. Follow Olivia at her TikTok where she has had several videos hit millions of views. Because I'm hilarious. Because she's got some great vids over there. Mm -hmm. I'm so funny. They're all about my cats. They're all about the cats. <laughs> That's why. If you like cats, go over there. Guys! guys. Now, while we have certainly a mixed bag experience with the last episode, don't know how you guys feel about it, because we are stack shooting them. So maybe you hate us now. Who knows? We don't really care. Yeah, we're going to watch it all anyway. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't really doesn't impact have, me, to be honest. It's already been shot and edited, <laughs> so what are you going to do? <laughs> you come at us? Come at us. Yeah, antagonize the audience. Leave a like on this video. Bend that subscribe button to get notified. Comment to fight us in the comments. When our reaction is up for the next episode of Avatar The Last Airbender. Also, thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. Full length reaction watch along every single with your own copy of Avatar. Available for our super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Also cover some other things over there exclusively with highlights watch alongs included. Let's get into it. <laughs> We spend so much time hiding who we really are. So it's hard to remember there was a time when we were actually excited to show the world our true face. Ooh. Very impressive. Are we gonna get it? More flashbacks. Zuko's actual backstory? What, what is it? Nothing. Tell me. <laughs> Your gauntlets are laced incorrectly, but no one will notice. What, help me fix it. I remember my first war council meeting. There were smaller affairs back then. Oh, yeah, we are going to get it. Ozai, however, seems to enjoy having an audience. My father says he welcomes different opinions. <laughs> oh, okay. ah. I'd advise against yeah. testing that. <laughs> there. How do I look? Like a prince. Oh. He's so soft. My uncles are not this nice. Oh, uh, what a great transition. Great match cut. Who changed the heading? We were given new orders. New orders by who? By me. God damn you, Joe. I am in charge of this mission. And I am an admiral. Fire Lord Ozai saw fit to put me in charge of all operations. Oh, boy. Of course, I welcome your assistant. I'll need all the resources at my disposal, no matter how minimal. What a douchebag. Tendon G, resume our original course. Did you hear me? Resume course. Admiral outranks the prince. Admiral Zhao was very clear with these orders and what would happen if we didn't follow them. Are you seriously? gonna let this spineless slug tell us what to do they don't really care to follow him in the no, battle do they they don't view him as their leader they have no loyalty towards him for the last three years we've only had each other zhao is not the one who deserves your loyalty zuko is loyalty they'll be punished your nephew doesn't know the meaning of the word he doesn't care what we've had to sacrifice because he's never had to sacrifice anything <laughs> oh gosh he may be a prince but he's not our prince Ooh. oh shit it's gotta earn their respect. I know Zuko has his rough edges, but you must understand, he's been through a lot. Look at his face. He knows far more about sacrifice than you can ever know. Look at his face, man. You're like, what happened? They're just people, the Fire Nation. <laughs> Great start. We all wear masks. Why'd you say it like that? It's from uh, the mask. Metaphorically speaking. Wow, he made it there pretty easily, huh? Apparently the Fire Nation's not on the lookout for the Apparently Avatar over here. Apparently they're all like, what's that flying thing <laughs> in the sky there? <laughs> no archers, nothing, man. Uh -huh. You know what? The Fire Nation does know how to do decor. Oh yeah, they got their sets built nicely. Yeah. Greetings, wise sages. My name is Aang, and I'm here to visit the Shrine of Avatar Roku. You see, I'm the Avatar. Ugh. We know. Wait! I don't understand. I'm a friend. Cool. What a great elevator, buddy. Oh, this show got a lot better. <laughs> That's how I feel whenever Jet's on screen, so it's fine. Sadly, the great sage and the others believe the Fire Lord is our true spiritual leader. No. 
So, all of this belonged to Roku? He was a hoarder, huh? These are relics from previous avatars that my grandfather gathered. I need to make contact with Avatar Roku. He's the only one who could tell me how to save my friends. I will hold him off for as long as I can. How? Let's poise the avatar. Fire is not meant to dominate the other elements. It should exist in balance with them. The only one who could provide balance is Fire Lord Ozai. For the last time, step aside. This is the first time you're telling him. I can't do that. Then you shall burn. Who dares disturb the peace? Of the Avatar. Uh, sounds like a Fire Nation guy, huh? <laughs> it's me, Aang. Is it not customary to bow before your elder? No. And to avert your eye? Why? Are you nudie? And hop on one <laughs> leg? <laughs> Forgive me, I couldn't resist. It's good to see you, Aang. What took you so long? <laughs> Avatar Kyoshi told me that I need to figure things out on my own. Sounds like her. Kyoshi has always been kind of... She said I need to be a fierce, merciless warrior. Yes, there are times when the Avatar must resort to force and intimidation. But in addition to being a warrior, the Avatar must also be a diplomat. Mm -hmm. But like Kyoshi, I am here to aid you in your journey. Anything you need. It has to do with Ko. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> He's captured my friends, and if I don't do something, he'll be lost forever. I heard you defeated him once. I only managed to take something from him. A totem that represents something that Ko needs. The pennant belonged to the Mother of Faces, an ancient spirit who crafted faces for all living beings. Not a neat design. And she is Ko's mother. Ah. Uh... Ko longs for the same thing we all do, family. So much about connection. Sounds like something he'd be willing to trade for. Thank you, Roku. That's it. Aang, but the truth is, for the Avatar, friends can be a liability. The Avatar has to make the impossible choices, placing the world's needs ahead of your needs. I mean, but saving the friends is a very important quality, though. And the ones you love, a lot of pain. But wouldn't the Avatar be saving these individuals? Well, it was just right there, huh? <laughs> hmm, sounds like everything's okay. There's no challenge to any of this. Nope. Unless... What happened to them? Paralyzed. Whoa. How did she find him so quickly? I've heard the stories about how you're gonna save the world. Some of us don't need saving. Some of us have got this world figured out. You seem like an alcoholic, honey. You actually got him. Feel free to count. I trust you. You know why? Because you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a lot of heat on him. Bunch of hunters been sniffing around. See you around, Avatar. Aw, there goes your favorite girl. Damn, she did all that work so easily. Let me do what I have to do, and I swear I'll come back. What? Aang. <laughs> do you know what it's like to have people depending on you? I do. But please, let me save them. No. I like the kid, man. He's good. <laughs> you couldn't have always been this way. What happened to you? I mean, the story's kind of rushing, but whatever. <laughs> the Earth Kingdom's forces are concentrated along the southern coast, right? Flanking them, but they keep lengthening the line. How about a pincer move? They're anchored by cliffs. He seems so innocent here. What would you do? Your Highness, I would suggest- Not you. Zuko, what would you do? Whatever you want, Dad. That's what you gotta say. Daddy, you know best. Horn's tactic, enveloping flanks, leaving an escape route to draw them out. Didn't you hear the general? Oh no. We could advance a division here. With the enemy's firepower focused on that diversion, we can launch pinning attacks here and here. If you send them into the heart of the forces, how will they retreat? Oh, They won't. But they'll be lost. No? Oh man. You're gonna sacrifice them. Sacrifice is a part of war. What division do you suggest? The 41st. Oh. Oh, he's gonna take his eyes off his son. This isn't something you learn in a textbook. Little boys should know better than to play at war. All of the adults are awful, man. <laughs> what is wrong with them? It's a terrible plan. What did you say? I said, it's a terrible plan. Wow, he's really taking an aggressive stand. Soldiers are gonna die, and for what? You dare question- Enough! There is only one way to resolve this. Agni Kai. Kai, yes. <laughs> Invoke the power of the Agni Kai. He went full force in standing up. Let us through. Do you know who I am? Of course we do. Oh no. 
Just as we all know, you're in defiance of my orders. Hot potato here with Aang. You're dishonoring your father, which I guess shouldn't be surprising given the stories I've heard. We'll take the avatar over my dead body. Tempting, however. <laughs> oh no. You yon archers, they can shoot the wings off a glow fly from a thousand pieces. Wow, Ozai is really helping this guy out. I'm sure the Fire Lord is eager to take possession of his prize. He's been waiting a long time, and I don't want him to be disappointed any more than he already has been. <laughs> he knows how to dig. Pohai lies inside Fire Nation borders. Going there would violate your banishment. Oh, no. I don't care, but Ozai does. And if he finds out... But the Avatar is lost! <laughs> For now. <laughs> right now, Zhao has the upper hand. Show's so weird because I'm rooting for Zuko so much. I know, I know. <laughs> just like, damn, they're really Give dick him the Avatar. They're dicking him over so much. <laughs> He's just trying to get back into he the Fire my Nation. my favorite character of the show. You have to let me go. No, no. There are four guards, not three. And both his hands and his feet are shackled. Make sure you get it right. What a smug asshole. If I were you, I'd be thinking less about my past and more about my future. It's not my future I'm worried about. Really? I'd worry a little. <laughs> you won't be killed. If you die, you'll just be reborn. We'd have to begin our search for the Avatar all over again. <laughs> You'll live, though not well. <laughs> That's cruel. Little weasel. Blow all the hot air you want. It won't change your fate. What are you doing? Don't write that down. <laughs> we are the loyal sons and daughters of fire, the superior element. Until now, only one thing stood in our path. I love the Fire Nation in this show. They are great. And today, we have captured the Avatar! Taking credit, huh? All the credit. It's just the first step. There will be mighty battles to be fought, but not tonight. Tonight, we celebrate. Party! We will celebrate! He is an excellent actor. I, I I love just how different they are. There's the mask. There's the there's the mask. Did you get everything? You know it. As much wine as I could haul. It's gonna be some night, huh? A bunch of alcoholics. Wow. All clear. Open gate. Yeah. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Huh, he got inside. I must come from under. There's a hole underneath, you think? This is interesting with the animated, in the animated version, it's, you're wondering who this is. Yeah, but we this know. this is, they made it so clear, like, it's obviously, still, even if you did it, you're like, it's obviously Zook. Sound the alarm. My man. My man. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. Who are you? Right, but uh, run now. Talk later. I don't like what they're doing with Aang this episode. <laughs> Can I mean, we see what this party's like, though? I mean, he's mainly just a... A plot device to yeah. make everyone else more interesting. <laughs> like, even his, what he's given to say, I'm like, oh, this is so corny and campy. Like, the comedic relief. Make sure to include the full transcript of my speech, but change loyal to faithful. <clears throat> which has everything he needs for his research. It weakens stakes, I think, a lot of yeah. time. And tension. Even though I know he's like that in the animated show, it's still, it doesn't translate as well here with what they're doing. And he has more depth than the animated show. There's layers. Now, is that loyal or faithful, sir? <laughs> the Avatar has escaped! <laughs> he says it with such, like, worry. <laughs> I love his portrayal. Stop him! <laughs> you notice he hasn't used his firebending skills? Yeah.
You're one hell of a fighter, dude. I know. Oh, shit. Aang just murdered all these people. Knock him over. Bloop, 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 bloop. Well, he's dead, too. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Get mm -hmm. it. I need the avatar alive. What are you doing? Smart. Open the gate. Do it. Open gate. A sleazy snake. Uh -huh. So smart. Do you have a shot? That's a smart setup. Take him out. Oh shit. I mean, you can't shoot him. I know. Kill the mercenary and recover the avatar. Uh, recover the avatar. Why is he horrified by this? It's not a surprise. I mean, he's surprised. He thought he was being saved. He doesn't know why. He has, no, he has no idea the motive behind Zuko. I mean, the motive makes the, sense that he wants to avatar himself. He saw it all go down. Yeah, but it, I, I don't think he understands the necessity of, of Zuko's motive. Check over there. Well, you see, like, I think it's very fair this time to compare it to the animated show because... They made it clear, like, you have to wear a mask if you're going to go in there. I have a small boat nearby. I can't go anywhere. Not with those soldiers still out there. It really seemed like he might have been trying to save him in the animated show. You shouldn't try to move. You're hurt. <laughs> trying to help. I don't need your help. Fine. Have it your way. It's just a little bump on the head, yeah? I know I shouldn't have taken your notebook. And I'm sorry. It's been a lifesaver. You have information on all the past avatars that no one else has. <laughs> All the air nomad monks, they're all gone. So all I had was your notebook. Because of his family. My teachers made me practice every morning. I wasn't allowed to do any fight training un until I had done 100 vertical strokes and 100 horizontal. Me too, except mine were for spiritual studies. <laughs> A lot of the time when I was supposed to be meditating, I was actually sleeping. I always got caught. Probably didn't help that I snored. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. They're on your side. Why are you fighting them? They're not on my side, but they will be. If I catch you, I can go home. Then I can take my place as the rightful heir to the Fire Lord. That's what you want? To be the next Fire Lord? Yeah, it sounds cool too. All that power? Gyatso is my teacher. He said we can't worry about anyone else's expectations. I know, it's not that easy. Oh, I like this scene between them. I do too. Maybe you don't have to be like the other firebenders. Maybe you could be better than them. You know what the Fire Lord is doing is wrong, so you don't have to be like him. It's his daddy, though. I'm the crown prince of the Fire Nation. I will be the example for all firebenders. And my father is a great man. Jonathan Majors. <laughs> <sighs> Compassion is a sign of weakness. Oh, he just put that fire up. I didn't mean to hurt you. I have a feeling you've been hurt more than enough. Oh, the Army Kai trial. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Mortal Kombat. You have no respect for our military. Forgive me, Father. I meant no disrespect. I Rise! Brother, don't do this. He's your son. We'll see. Oh, my God. Rise and fight, Prince Zuko, so you can learn some respect. Everyone's watching too. Mm. Azula. <laughs> Is this everything? Give me everything. <laughs> Yeah, they came as great casting. Jeez. Compassion is a sign of weakness. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. <laughs> 
Gehirn. You know the worst part about being born 100 years ago? I miss my friends. If we knew each other back then, do you think we could have been friends? <lacht> Cool shot. Yeah. Flashback was handled really well. There's so much weight to that. There's so much to it. See, this is what I was saying is that the way you flesh out Aang is you watch his connections with other characters. And that is what we needed this shit. Because <laughs> I'm like, that was a good scene. Thing. Have you ever wondered how you and the others were assigned this mission? The doctor is creating a special herbal bomb just for you. Oh. He says your vision will be fine, which means you have the good fortune of continuing to bask in my beauty. Oh, he just kept trying to maintain that upbeat attitude for him. He's the only one there for him. Now is not a good time. I wish to speak with my son. He's hurt. He'll recover, but he'll never heal. Yep. <sighs> what a great line. Good lines. <laughs> the doctor says you'll recuperate quickly. It's a sign your body is strong. That's good. Your spirit, however, still needs strengthening. What a gaslight. Mm -hmm. I care about you so much, honey. I did this for you. You must be willing to give up the weak to make yourself strong. That is what makes us the Fire Nation. Give up the weak. That is what you must do. Sometimes the weak can become stronger. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to give them a chance. I have made a mistake. Oh, uh I've sheltered you, and it's made you soft like your mother. Well, since you seem unable to learn within the walls of this palace... This relationship feels real. You will leave here, and you are not to return until you have conquered the greatest remaining threat to our nation's destiny. You will bring me the Avatar. <laughs> this oh, my... Is... You can't, brother. It's done. And since you're so concerned with the 41st Division, take them with you as your crew. Ah. Uh, wow, that adds oh, so much shit. depth. That adds Damn. such a nice layer. That is painful. And he puts it in this veil of trying to make his son stronger and better. We are the 41st. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin it, Joe. <laughs> There's something out there. It's him. Drop the lines. You're injured. I'm fine. We should have someone look at it. I've dealt with worse. I'm not going to ask you where you went, but in the future, nephew, I would appreciate it if you let me know whether or not you're still alive. Oh. There actually are a few of us who care about about such things. <laughs> Seriously, the family drama is so like just <laughs> it hits the feels. Oh, and he's earning the respect. Our prince has returned. Oh. Our prince. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Some joke. They must have missed you at music night. <laughs> <laughs> what a powerful scene. Oh my gosh. Wow, he went to all of them and told them what he did. Like, you will die. Zuko saved her ass. You know, we're, we're the 41st. <laughs> We've hated this man. <laughs> Oh, and he's crying for him. Aww. It's amazing how far we'll go to hide our true selves from the world. Perhaps it's because we don't want people to know how much they really mean to us. Do you not want to let... Which is funny. Tara and Sokka. Because the truth <laughs> is, we would do anything for them. Abba. And he's like, I'm sorry for being emotionally abusive to you guys. And they're like, I don't know what you're what talking you, about. What's happening, like you've been so nice. <laughs> <laughs> been asleep for a while. What happened? <laughs> We'd travel incredible distances, risk our lives, even fight monsters. Here's your toy. <laughs> yeah. Mama? That's really good. It's like a combination of practical and, visual and CGI. Throws them out at him. But I suppose it can be scary to admit you need people. Some might see that as a weakness. After all, what greater pain is there than losing someone you love? Oh, he's gone. Gyatso? Finding out someone you love has left you behind. Can we talk about it when I get back? Once I save my friends, one more time. You assholes caused me to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had more time with Gyatso. <laughs> I guess that's why we feel the need to hide away and protect ourselves. Oh, wow. So we put on a mask. It's not hard to understand why. What's hard is knowing that sometimes the mask is who we really are. Mm. Bruce Wayne's not Batman. Batman's pretending to be Bruce Wayne. 
<laughs> it's that line, Superman from like Kill Bill. In the midst of movie and TV show reactions, there's you know, such a busy schedule around here. Who's got time to prep gourmet meals? Well, that's where Factor steps in. Factor is a game changer, delivering chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. It's not just about dinner. They've got your whole day covered with snacks, smoothies, and more. Whether you're into keto, vegan, pescatarian like myself, or just looking for something delicious and healthy, Factor has a variety of meals ready in two minutes flat. Imagine the luxury of gourmet meals without the hassle of prep or cleanup. It's like your personal chef making it easier to eat well amid our busy lives and the best part factor is flexible to fit any schedule pick from 6 to 18 meals weekly adjusting or pausing anytime life gets in the way it's about making your life easier giving you control and convenience without compromising on quality with factors gourmet plus even my hectic days get a gourmet touch no more grocery runs, just pure deliciousness. So you ready to elevate your food game reject nation? Jump into factor75.com or click below with Real Rejects 50. You're in for a 50% off treat on your first box. Supporting them helps support the channel, but also supporting your health and time. Dive into the gourmet life, people. That was really good. <laughs> I really was concerned at the beginning, to be honest. I was like, oof, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this episode. Uh, but like with everything, you throw a little bit of Fire Nation in there and Zuko and Iroh and it turns yeah. it around immediately. You make it predominantly Fire Nation <laughs> and predominantly Zuko. <laughs> maybe there's an alt world where maybe that was the show these writers actually wanted I to know, tell. I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> maybe they should call this Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> the Fire Nation story. <laughs> because... That stuff is so strong and powerful. Um, I still think Aang is lacking a lot. In the beginning when he's in the back of the car, he's like, let me go see my friends, please. I'll come right back. I'm like, this is so, it's too naive for me. I'm like, come on, buddy. You know that's not, like, what is, it's just too naive, too childlike for me. Like when he's begging them to, let me please go see my friends, please. I'm like, you know that's not going to happen. Like, it's it's stupid to me. It's dumb. I don't want to hear it. Get over it. <laughs> so that was a little concerned. <laughs> but they put him and Zuko together. It's a great relationship. And I love getting that more fleshed out. They balance off each other really well. well yeah, I mean, it, it seemed like the Aang was the best at getting to the... A, a triggering core. Sometimes I think what I've really learned about, at least myself in my life, is sometimes when I'm getting like emotionally defensive, I Are have you? to, yeah, yeah, me. Wow. I have to check myself to go, is it because there's some truth to this? And so before I get like act on getting defensive, it's like, oh, is it because of that? Am I really defending my honor or my? Is, is it because there's some truth being dished my way? And I think that's that was a necessity of the conversation that was happening between Aang and Zuko. And I, I kept saying, like, what, what makes Aang great is is the connection. What would make him an interesting character is if you just watch his connection with other characters. Like even at the end of the, the whole thing with masks and feeling like you need people and friends as that monologue was going, and then they're cutting to, like, Aang and... Uh, you know, rescuing uh, Katara and Sokka. I'm like, I don't really feel like they have much of a connection, really. Mm -hmm. Like, they get along fine, but I don't think, like, these are friends I need. Like, they're my friends. I need to save them. Like, the the depth of that, you know? It just feels very, like, kind of surface still. Uh, even though I do think this was his best episode, and, and there's definitely more room to, to improve upon. I imagine this show will get another season, and I'm really hoping that is the improvement where they put most of their focus oh, it, is that because i've kind of just accepted like nah, this is the show's shortcoming <laughs> it's the biggest show this is the biggest shortcoming of the show for 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 us at least is that's the case fortunately it is surrounded by a lot of things that are really strong and that do work within source material as well mm -hmm. you know like that whole conversation at the bed i don't think that's in the animated show of course no. that conversation must have happened uh in, in some context uh, we don't uh, see Fire Lord Ozai you don't at see all him. in the first season, right? Yeah, like I think the, I think even the Agni Kai fight, you don't see his face. If I'm not mistaken, I think you don't. Um, but they're, the way they flesh out the family drama, the dynamics, the the gaslighting, the narcissistic abuse, all of it. The, they really have a strong psychological angle, I think, 
with all the characters that feels extremely nuanced yeah. that gives you a depth of understanding to everyone even and they i think they humanize they didn't humanizing not in the way where you have an empathetic uh, association with the fire lord ozai but she, but he feels more than just two dimensional villain who's cackling and shit yeah and he just feels like a real a, abusive king <laughs> you know? he feels like an abusive king, father, father. Yeah. yeah he's like a real abusive father who's like i'm gonna whip you boys in the shape you know and he's the Iron Claw Dad. <laughs> and, uh, that's all I think about it, now. He's <laughs> coming back to That's what he is. And and I, I, it's just, it is just compelling. It's just compelling drama. And it's more than just oh, they're pulling from you know familiarity. They're doing a great job in expanding upon it, as opposed to Aang, where they just sort of condense shit. And I really, I really think like this is Zuko's show <laughs> through and through. And it's very clear. Where the audience, where the writers of this installment of Avatar: The Last Airbender were most interesting, mm -hmm. like this is like the second episode where you get extensive fleshing out on them, and out of eight episodes that we've had, so many flashbacks of Zuko and his story, and we've had nothing really of Aang and his story. You know, man, there's not too much. It's like eight. He's, he's twelve. Yeah, it's like twelve years of what, like you know. Farting and pooping and throwing, you know, his feces at all the other airbenders. Is that what you were doing at 12 years old? <laughs> that's, what, that's what I imagine. Just little monkeys going around. I'm so concerned if that's Taking what you were doing at 12. the hair off of all his friends, making sure they're all bald. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No. I feel so, like... Uh, was, I mean, yeah. I mean, was, we he, could get more flesh, more of his story in connection with the other airbenders. And, like, we could get some of that, like... Or just see him... With his having friend? some connections why with do we have Kata no, Katara why do we have no and Sokka. flashback of his firebending friend? Why do he mentions it? And I'm like, well, that would have been a great scene, you know, him getting along with these these other nations and firebend. We don't yeah. get that. It's not like a cool, mysterious thing they're alluding to. Uh, like, might as well show us. You know, they should. They should. And I think the, I, th I think like the biggest fault that they're missing out on is just, that, if anything, just build the connection then with with uh, Katara. And Sokka. Yeah. It's the main thing you, they, they, they should be doing to, to make it, to make him an interesting character. It's going to start playing. And, you know, it's like, to me, it's apparent too that the, these, I think where the creatives behind this, this one were interested is what can they bring to the table and what they are. I mean, rightfully so. Like, what can they create? Yeah. And all the stuff that is not a direct adaptation, I think they, don't really care as much yeah and i could see where that divide sort of happens with the original creatives being involved and them being like but you know here's why that original stuff is good yeah <laughs> and either way but it's hard because then i'm like but all the stuff they're adding with the fire nation is really good oh yeah the, even like the, the troops there, the, the yes. 41st. When they're all bowing to him. And what, I'm like, oh. The way they flesh out so the good. the differences between Uncle Iroh and Ozai has been so strong. And they just continue to build that relationship of Zuko and Iroh. And it's believable to me. It's I mean, so believable. There's just, uh, and, and most of the episode is about that. It's my main takeaway. And I love the... I love the, the 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 conversation that they do have when they're hiding out in the barn, and watching a Zuko just have to take on that all that being told the information of his mission. Yeah, you know it. It just sounds so large and fantastical when it's first pitched, but they're not aware that like the Avatar's frozen. They just think like the Avatars are like a reborn person, and they have to go find that Avatar. Right? That's the impression I'm under. I don't really I don't, I don't know think they, because. Um, obviously the Avatar would be a hundred years old at that point and they're not searching other nations, right? So I don't know. Well, it seems like Zuko became so obsessed that he started uh, trying to understand every Avatar to see mm -hmm. how, the best way he can get to finding the Avatar, you know? So you do find yourself rooting for, for Zuko to be able to come into his own, be his own man. And, but at the same time, when he's getting like dicked over by Zhao, who I think is so good yeah he is so good yeah. and, a, and a wonderful because it, and it, i think it's an improvement honestly that's if there's one there's one thing i would gladly admit to is i, I like Zhao when he first showed up but in a lot of ways he is just discount ozai yeah <laughs> and 
what they do with him here. He's so specifically fleshed. He's so specifically written to be this guy in this show. And I think that actor brings that level of just sleaziness and and, and just a snake that I love watching because he, he he's great. He's, he's fun to watch. But anyway, um, yeah, it's just like the Aang stuff, like visiting Roku. I just feel like that didn't that really. That was amount, so quick and gone. I'm like, didn't really amount like, to anything. How can I say to my friends, peace, bye, out of here? I'm like, yeah, you're not, no other questions, nothing for the the future. Like, I don't understand this. It's there's no real lessons being. It's the same shit. Yeah. You have to do the impossible things, and maybe. Maybe, you know, consider whether or not you should be friends with friends. <laughs> That's, there are no, he's learning no lessons. Nothing. Yeah. That's the problem. He gets dropped like one sentence. Yeah. One, that I guess is, equates to a profound lesson of storytelling. And um, not even really, because he was like, friends can be a liability. We don't see him struggling with that weight or decision at all throughout this. He's still exactly. like, like, so it's, I mean. it's useless. I'm like, what a useless. Lo- okay. There, there's a real lack of struggle, agency, um, capability, like really just, you know, remember once in a while there's like, no, we just need Aang to do some airbending stuff once in a while when he's fighting, but there's no like real strategy yeah. or I don't know. There's just gotta be something more to the guy than just him being like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then. You need to do the impossible thing and also consider this thing that I'm going to (laughs) say. Yeah. But yeah, it was just like so short lived. And uh, even him just getting to there just feels there's a note there. Sometimes they skip over a struggle is what makes you root for destiny child. What makes you root for chosen one. Oh, that that's what makes you root for a superhero is you need to have struggle. And him saying, I don't know what I'm doing does not exactly equate to struggle. Because even when he's like captured and shit, it's like, oh, this guy's breaking him out. You know, like stuff yeah. stuff is happening in his favor to help him out a lot. He's not even concerned that he's captured. He like doesn't even bat an eye. He doesn't like care at all. Like, she's like, yeah, I'm captured again. Uh, I think he. Got to get out to save my friends. He was worried. To save his friends. But there's a lack of depth. That's it. There's lack of depth to it. It's just very surface the way they, they do it. Yeah. Like basic worry. Which basic. concerns me that they are not confident in their lead actor. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, it, it, that could be because the case. Because they're giving everyone else. That they could have cast like a billion people. Here. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, I don't know. Is, that, is this kid like famous? I don't think so. Or is he an unknown? I think he's an unknown. I've never seen this kid before. The benefit of Avatar The Last Airbender is you can go all unknown. Except for Ozai. It's Daniel Day Kim. The villain of Die Another Day. Uh, Okay. I think think he's the villain or I'm racist. But I'm pretty sure I'm not racist. They're going to say you're racist anyway in the comments. So it's okay. (laughs) No matter what you said there. (laughs) Which is so funny to me because there's so many comments that are like... He looks like Jabby. I want to be like, oh, so all Filipinos look alike? <laughs> uh, but you do look like him. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, we're both Asian. <laughs> so all Asians look alike? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But anyway, they're going to claim you're racist, so it doesn't matter. He's great, though. I feel like his performance, too, is he's really, a, he's really a veteran good. actor. He has like 50 or 60. Dude, he's... He's good looking. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a good looking guy. I want to confirm that really fast. Oh but my god, he's what fifty time is in that, that body. Uh, I could be wrong. There's but no I'm way. Pretty sure he's like. There's like no wrinkles on that been, body. He's been around forever. This guy. I mean, he was like on season one of Lost. Maybe he was like ten when he was on season. Fifty five. No way. That is insane to me. Wow, it is true what they say about Asians, huh? He's the guy in Joyride. Not Joyride. Yeah, Joyride. The the dad. Spoilers. <laughs> Wait, no, he's not the actual dad. The stepdad. I don't remember that movie at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't re- remember. I didn't like that movie, remember? I thought it was hilarious. I hated that movie. Not my type of comedy. Anyway, he looks really good for 55. Yeah. We got to have a kid now. If they can get that type of jeans. 
<laughs> it does look really good, man. Wow. Anyway, this put me back on track a little bit, so I still have some concerns, especially because there's only two episodes left. But I think the less we I'm are, I'm just going in our... with this is Zuko show. Keep <laughs> yeah. showing me more. This Zuko. is Zuko show. Secondly, soccer show. <laughs> this and is Katara. this is Zuko and the Fire Nation show, and then soccer show. Yep. Then Katara. That a yep. And I'm okay. Wow, with what Kevin. a bummer on that. I know. I know. We have two episodes left. I'm like, I would have just, I really kind of would have preferred if they just were like, you know what? We're going to take a different approach. We're not going to call it Avatar The Last Airbender. We'll call it yeah. Zuko. We'll tell the Avatar The Last Airbender like show. Or like the Fire Nation. And then you call own, it the Fire Nation. Or if you just saw it only from Zuko's perspective. Mm -hmm. like, oh, that oh, would be so good. That would be good. cool, right? Like you only <laughs> see the so Aang good. just comes in like doses, but it's always from Zuko's perspective. That could have been a really interesting take. Especially because it's clear that that's where their passion here lies. Yeah, I don't. They don't give a shit about it. <laughs> they really don't. Nope. It's it's so thin. Maybe maybe we're way in the minority on it, but I I really don't like. Tell me what's the tell me what the depth is without saying fill it in with the animated show. <laughs> like, and tell, tell me, me without spoiling because we're on ep <laughs> this was episode six. So without telling me by episode time, seven and eight. Oh, by the time this is out. Yeah, but I'm just clarifying. Right now we've not. Yeah. Scene. So if you're going to talk to me about right now in this moment, our feelings are incorrect. Give me an example up until episode six of why our feelings are incorrect. Do not go further than that. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes things are, I think sometimes people feel like they get more from a character from body language and whatever. Uh, but I don't get that with this mm -mm. at all. I, I really think the writing is really poor on him. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, because I've seen some people like complain and on the, so the time of us filming this, the only thing that's been uploaded is the episode one. Yeah. And I saw some some comments about uh, people like not liking uh, Iroh. Because I saw did, that too. There's like a whole thread about it. Like, it's a top comment. And, and Katara. I was like, I really like the mom. Uh, and uh, Iroh because of the voice that he does. And again, that's like, oh, well, you want the animated show yeah. at that point. And and. And we're here going, like, I think he's one of the best parts yes. of it. And he's also one of my favorite characters from the animated show yeah. as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a hard it's a hard line to draw. It's really hard. Really interesting stuff. Yeah. All righty. Well, we're done. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Matthew Arms, I... I love you so much. We know each other personally. Jack Forrest, I would love to follow you into a forest holding hands. Namari, I'm treating you with the same delicacy as John, where I play with the headset the entire time. <laughs> Mike Joyce, <laughs> hop into my Rolls Royce and we'll take a ride, buddy. Jet Loose Court Gaming. You remember that time we found each other on the internet and, and you were like, hey, you look good. And I was like, sorry, I'm taken. And then we had a laugh about it and you said I have a loose. And I was like, that's inappropriate. Ryan Smith, remember when I mistook you for a different Ryan Smith and then started hitting on you and it was really awkward and you were like, that's not me, it's the other Ryan Smith. And I'm, you know, sorry about that. Kevin Meek, remember when I took a baseball bat to your face because I was like, how dare you hit on my wife? And I was like, oh, wait, you're not the right Kevin Meek. And then we had a good laugh about it. <laughs> Adrian Timms. <laughs> I would fight for you the way Rocky fights for his Adrian is all I want to say. You're, you're, you're my rock. Navdeep Sidhu, I would fight you the way real life Rocky probably fights with Adrian. You know, that guy's definitely got some mental health issues and probably takes it out on his wife. But, hey, you touch my totals, not deep. And then, bam, <laughs> sock you right in the face. <laughs> hey, that's a souvenir for a lucky <laughs> reject. Real Nagas. You are a real one, and you say nah anytime someone goes to try and steal me away from you. There's something in there. They heat their gear. You are a real her in the heat as you shift gears due to cycles with the moon. Ian Simon, my dude, you have the same first name as the actor who played Bilbo, and uh, you're just as wise and half the age. 
or even less. So keep it up. Jacob Neptune, you have the same first name as the guy, the alien who poses as Jacob Elordi. So keep it up. Kayla the King, I bend the knee to you. I will kiss the ring. And uh, yeah, just anything you need me to do, I, I am your instrument. Put me to work. Olivier Hamlin, you bend your knee to me. And I say, get up, man. Who do you think I am? The, that, that one Indian guy from the normies? Or the other Indian guy from the normies? <laughs> Normies are good people. You're all the normies. <laughs> Alan Ling, listen, I got a thing for you, my friend. So uh, meet me by the swings and we'll do a, a, a ding a ling. Kiera, you and I are going to catch this pal who's hanging out by the swings, has long hair, works to wear red flannel. We're going to get this guy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Juan Longoria. I'm a desperate housewife for ya. My 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 guy. Cliff Rodriguez, let's push desperate housewives off cliffs. Huh? How does that sound? Doesn't it sound like a good old American time? The Unrec. That's a good old American name right there. Why don't you meet me next to a cliff and we'll watch a sunset together. Goat Nation. I see another couple by a cliff. Hey, you want to go all Zodiac on them? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great for the suitability of this video. <laughs> Lorenzo Baxter. I am in a glass case of emotion whenever I think of you and I would fight any biker who would dare to harm you in any way. Differently sane, I'm in a glass case of insanity. It's a different kind of sane. A not so ordinary normalcy. Oh. It's differently sane. It's differently sane. It's differently sane. It's <laughs> certainly in the rain or whatever that twist, tongue twister. Marco Tunstill! I would twist my tongue around you, all of you. Be very impressed. You don't know. You don't understand uh, what anaconda genes I'm working with here. Simply faded. Do you ever twist your tongue when you're faded? Uh, I think it's working. Huh? Good comedy right there. So <laughs> juicy is that comedy. And speaking mm. of so juicy. SJ94, you make my heart burst with flora and chocolate springs. Justin Martin, there's a dead man whose heart has just bursted with chocolate, and we need to clean up this body because it has happened on my residency, and we can't have the public finding out about it. That'd be a travesty. Colin, I'm calling you on the phone repeatedly an obscene number of times to where you don't want to talk to me ever again. But I'm not going to stop because I know you like to play hard to get. Philip J. Smith Jr., remember that time we were bunking together and we heard some weird pe who hangs up by swings who was on this phone talking to a guy named Colin and he wouldn't stop bothering him and then we had to tell the landlord about it and he died because his heart burst from chocolate? <laughs> That was a weird time, Philip J. Smith Jr. Weird times we had. Speaking of weird, Jen Smith, there are so many Smiths here. I wonder if you're all related, and I would like to become a Smith too. Maybe we can all marry each other big love style. Melanie LeBlanc, I'm getting invited to an orgy with a bunch of Smiths, and I don't want it to just be uh, only Smiths. I think we should get all the LeBlancs. You, the Matthew, <laughs> I'm sure he's got some relatives with that last name, too. Because let's Jeff face LeBlanc. it, they're the only two LeBlancs out there. Karen LeBlanc. It's kind of hard to find LeBlancs, but I feel like it could be a, a... We don't have to do anything. We could just be witness. Yeah, <laughs> we need someone we to just, watch. We just watch <laughs> we need and judge them. them. Voyeur life. It's, we it's need according them. to a BuzzFeed article, it's not exactly how a lot of the internet has made it out to be. Apparently, it's really uncomfortable. Oh, uh, sure. Anyway, I think we did it. We appreciate and love all of you. We did it. Achieved. Gamer tag. Let's do this. Be well. See you in March. We love you.